Reading and writing is considered a cornerstone to a successful life, but the National Literacy Institute says 54% of adults in the U.S. had the literacy of a sixth grader. Here in St. Louis, a local rapper is stepping up his game, bringing beats and books to the classroom. Our Caroline Hecker has this story, all new at 630. I gotta start from the top for the number one spot. Puff Rap right is the ringing through the halls of River Road's Lutheran Church do, in North St. Louis. No. Flip it like a Woven into the lyrics are lessons in reading. It's the mission behind Byron Waters' Reading with Rappers program. Okay. Y'all ready? Born and raised in St. Louis. What about this one? He grew up hearing stories about the struggles his great-grandmother faced being illiterate. My mom always told me stories about every weekend how she would have to go to the grocery store with her grandmother and go all of these different places to uh, help count the money for um, just anything that had to do with her having to read. I keep on falling. Known as Zeus Rebel Waters, he travels the country performing 80 shows a year. But when he's home in St. Louis, like that haircut? he finds his purpose in the classroom. They all watch videos. They all, you know, watch YouTube. So it's like somebody show up to your classroom that, that look like a video that you watched last night, you know, and you're going to look at that and say, oh, wow. And he's talking about reading and talking about stuff that's positive. Maybe it may make you say, well, I can still look this way but I can be totally different. His mission is one teachers and parents say is desperately needed. According to the most recent MAP testing data, 28% of Missouri students tested proficient in language arts. 38% tested at the basic level, showing a partial mastery of the skills needed. But 18% of kids tested below basic. You know how we were just practicing? Summer Beckett sees many of those struggles firsthand. It's an epidemic. It is a crisis to me. As a language arts teacher, she says the pandemic wreaked havoc on children's education. Now, they're falling even farther behind. It is not uncommon to walk into a classroom and the majority of the students be reading at a level that is completely below where they're supposed to be at. That's where she says parents come into play. You may have a seat. <laughs> Helping to reinforce what's being learned in the classroom. It's something Janet Wood takes seriously with her kids at home. We read when we're driving. I have flashcards in the car and um, it's just an everyday thing. So if we say stop, I'm going to say S-T-O-P. Um, say Geo picked that up. You know, I'm just going to spell things out. Jaquita Dorsey's daughter is in second grade in the thick of learning how to read. It's a daily thing. It's in your daily activity from the from the packaging on uh, snacks to um, just, you know, regular magazines. The women say it doesn't have to be complicated, but it does have to be a priority. First, we always thought I would word of a week, so we always just pick a word randomly. I let either a kid pick it or I pick that we post on our refrigerator. And those efforts at home don't go unnoticed. Without my mom there to help me, I wouldn't be where I am today. Rock what you got. A simple rap. Keeping kids engaged. Helping to better their lives. One beat at a time. The next step in the Reading with Rappers program is a mobile library. Byron Waters purchased the bus. Now he just needs help transforming in the inside into a place full of books and cozy nooks. For more on that effort and how you can help, visit our website, firstthirdfour.com. In the studio, Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4.